Hi everyone, this is Louise, and I wanted to officially welcome you to the first video of the Colouring Club, yay! So, this series of Colouring Club videos are actually for my book, which is Colouring Botanical Blooms, Bouquets and Mandalas. There's over 65 hand-drawn designs in here. And there's a quick flick through. There's also a video where I do a complete walkthrough of the book. And today, I just lost my page. <laughs> and today we are going to be kicking off by coloring this beautiful hydrangea cluster, I guess you call it, or bunch um, in the coloring club today. So you will watch me color and you can color along with me as well. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, then please make sure you add them into the comments. Uh, there's lots of links and information in the description as well. So if you haven't purchased the book yet, there's a link to purchase the book. And um, there's also a link to my favourite colouring pencils and lots of other information as well. So I can't wait to get started with our first video. I hope you enjoy it. And let's get going. Let's get colouring, everyone. OK, bye. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Okay, so hi everyone. In our first video, I thought we could colour this lovely hydrangea cluster. So we're colouring from my Colouring Botanical Blooms, Bouquets and Mandalas book here. And um, this is like a beautiful design because we can use lots of different colours to blend. So just a quick note that my favourite pencils to use are these, um, they're actually water soluble pencils from Staedtler and I've used quite a lot of different um, pencils but these are my favourite at the moment but obviously you can use any pencils that you'd like to and what I've done I've already selected some colours here that kind of match my hydrangea paintings that I have done. You can see I've got some inspiration around here from, from some drawings that I've previously done. And I'm also going to be using this painting that I painted, which was actually based on this, you can see, um, as my color inspiration. And I've already done a couple of little kind of swatches here with my pencils just to kind of double check that these are the colours that I think are going to look good on my colouring page. Usually I would say, you know, start with just a few colours, like two or three, let's say. And here, as you can see, I've got six. But the main blooms, we're going to be using these four colours here. And what we're going to do, we're going to be blending the colours together. So basically, we kind of layer the pencils a little bit, we blend them. And the beauty of the hydrangea flower is we can just play as we work around the colouring page. There's no right or wrong way of colouring in terms of where we're placing the colour. So we can just enjoy going round and placing the colour here. So if you love hydrangeas, you can also learn to draw hydrangeas in my Drawing Botanical Blooms book, which is this book here. And, um, we do a whole drawing exercise around fornish and drawing the hydrangea. And you will notice that you will see this design that we're going to paint today is um, inside here as well. So you can actually learn how to draw this if you're interested in my Drawing Botanical Blooms book. And I'll put a link to that in the description. So let's get started. I'm not going to give you too much um, vocal instruction as we go along, but I am going to kind of keep these little prompts by my side here with my colours. I'm going to keep my painting here as reference and I'm going to dive in. So I'm going to put these greens to one side. I actually wanted to use those for a bit of variation around the edges here because we've got some additional flowers around the edge. And I am literally just going to, in no particular order, I'm just going to choose a colour and I'm going to start placing this onto the flower. So um, what I love about these pencils, they're actually beautiful when you put water to them, but actually as a colouring pencil on their own. 
they are really lovely so basically the technique that i'm going to use for these flowers is i'm going to place a tiny bit of color here and i'll tell you what let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see this a bit better i'm going to zoom in here so i've started off with this pink and then what i'm going to do i'm going to go in and i'm going to blend a little bit so what that means is that I'm going to go over the top of the colour that I've already placed. I kind of want them to blend together and the colours to merge because hydrangeas have that beautiful kind of, they, they're very good, they kind of look like watercolours, I think, hydrangeas. And that's why I love to paint them so much. So we're kind of just going to blend that over the top. And if you want to, you can kind of think about where the light might be hitting the flower so you might want to put a bit of lighter color maybe on the top or just a sort of area this is the lighter blue that I'm using and I'm literally just going to go in and really really gently blend more color in and what I'm going to try and do as I'm working around this kind of um, bunch of hydrangea I'm going to approach it very very differently so each one is going to be slightly different so I started off with the pink then went in with the purple and then the blue and then this kind of mauvey color and as I'm going through I might think to myself oh do you know what I'm going to add a little bit more pink in there so I might go back again and just add a bit of pink into some areas You can just blend the colour that way. So when I work onto the next petal, I'm actually going to start, I think, with a different colour. So let's start with this purple. Oh, this actually is not a purple. It's actually a dark blue, this one. I'm just going to work my way around. I kind of want each petal to look slightly different, but they're obviously going to be the same because we're using the same colour palette. some pink around the edges on this one so as you go through and you color in you don't really need to think too much about this you've got your your colors you know you keep to your colors that you're going to use and you can variate which one you're going to put down first and you can just use this as a lovely coloring meditation as you go through because we're not we're not going to be adding water to this or anything you will be able to see the marks of the pencil so if you wanted to you can kind of keep in the direction of the way that the petals fanning out I mean I was kind of going this way but actually you might want to just keep to this but it doesn't really matter I think you get some nice texture showing up okay so there's the first two and I'm literally just going to work my way around each of these and finish this bunch off with this exact same technique and then we'll come back and maybe add something darker in in the background here and then I'm going to come and color around the page now what I love about my new coloring book is a lot of the designs actually um, were designed kind of like with the bleed which means they go all the way to the edge of the page I love coloring right to the edge of the page so um I hope you enjoy colouring those designs as well. And that's why I thought I might want to start with this one. So, you know, if you wanted to, you could just colour this in and leave the rest blank if you wanted to. Um, obviously, there's lots of different ways to colour this in. But, um, you know, I'm keeping with this colour palette. And maybe take a look at hydrangeas and have a look at all the different colour combinations 
that you can find in this beautiful flowering plant. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but the colour of the hydrangea is always determined by the pH level of the soil. So that's why you see so many different gorgeous variations of this flowering plant. So you might want to have a go at doing one that's a little bit more green and peach. That's one variation I see a lot of and then a lot of pink. And then this one that I love, which is kind of more of a blue and a purple with a hint of pink as well. So what I'm going to do, I will speed up the film just a tiny, tiny bit. But you can just watch me colour in the rest. You can colour along with me if you wish. And I'll just put some music on or something. And then you can just enjoy the colouring meditation. And I look forward to seeing how this turns out. I also look forward to seeing how yours turns out. So I've put the hashtag in the description and in the video as well. So if you do share on Instagram or somewhere like that, you can use the hashtag and I can find you and I can comment on your lovely colouring page. All right, so I'll see you in a moment when we get this one finished. so that's the main hydrangea cluster or bunch finished and I'm just going to use the same technique as I've done here and I'm going to go around but I'm going to do different color combinations I think so I might start incorporating these two colors here these two greens I mean as you can see I use this green a lot <laughs> um, and maybe some green and some pink together you see that a lot in hydrangea blooms so I'm just going to do exactly the same kind of thing. I'm just going to work my way around the page. Obviously, I'm going to paint. I'm going to draw. Obviously, I'm going to color this into the green in here as well, which I can probably just do now as we're talking. And then um, just sort of variate the page a little bit. So we do have the same colors, but it's so interesting to see, obviously, when you blend a different combination together you're going to get different results so for example let's just finish this here so let's say over here we might want to create this as to be like a bit of a green kind of a green feel here 
we're going to blend a little bit and I'm going to add some pink and just see how that colour combination works. I'm actually colouring in a bit of a circular motion here, you'll notice, so I'm, I'm blending these two colours together. I'm kind of going round a bit of a circle just to hopefully try and blend them a bit easier. But, you know, we've got the same colour palette here, the same colouring pencils, but now, because I'm just using these two to blend, you see how different the result is. So you can have a go at these ones that are around the edge, try different colour combinations. Um, you know, you can try the green with a couple of other colours, maybe the green with the blue. So here I'm just going to fill this whole one in green and then I go over in the pink, I think I just do a little bit of highlighting somewhere, maybe in the centre here. Okay, so I'm just going to get on again and just enjoy the colouring process, mixing these colours up a bit more and I'll fill this whole page in and we'll see what it looks like when we get to the other side. Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's inspired you to dive into your own colouring page. So here's the finished design here. Now I think I'm gonna go and actually colour in the grayscale design that's on the other side of the page here. Now all of the designs in the book, you'll know this if you've already got the book, but all the designs in the book accompany kind of have a grayscale on the other side as well, just for your viewing pleasure. But there's nothing stopping you from colouring the grayscale on the other side, because as you can see, there isn't really much bleed through here. There isn't any bleed through actually, when you use just colouring pencils. So you can enjoy a double whammy of all the colouring pages. <laughs> so there's 65 hand drawn in here, so there's gonna be over 130 designs for you to colour. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, please do add your comments and questions below. I'd love to hear from you and any other comments you have would be wonderful as well about the colouring book or the colouring process. I will pop back here and I will answer any questions as well. All right and thanks again everyone who's purchased my book. I'm so excited it's out in the world and I can't wait to see you in the next colouring video. Okay, thanks a lot everyone, bye.